a lot of industries and historically men have had spaces where they can connect yeah. as men exclusively, um, which in a way creates their own foundation and networks which helps them in their career. Um, so this is also a space for us to do that. Welcome to Breaking the Binary, brought to you by Newcastle Women and Gender Diverse People in Tech. We're your hosts, Anna Jarrett and Sarah Fraser. So this is an introductory episode all about Newcastle women and gender diverse people in tech and what this podcast will be doing. Um, but first off, I'd like to acknowledge you, Wapapu and Laura, my people, um, who are traditional custodians of the land where we're recording. Uh, we pay respects to elders past, present and emerging of the Wapapu and Laura, my people, and extend that respect to all the First Nations Australian on whose traditional lands you are listening from today. Uh, so Sarah, why did we choose the name Breaking the Binary? Uh, it's definitely not because we got chat GPT to <laughs> throw up a bunch of suggestions. It is 2023. Okay. <laughs> but picture chat GPT yeah. gave us a bunch of suggestions. It, it did. Yes. It's very good at that. I think we picked it because it's nice. It's gender inclusive. Yeah. Um, and of course, binary code is a fun little reference. Yeah, the it's technology a that we know and love. Pun. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, that's, that's exactly it. We wanted to, um, acknowledge, um, gender inclusion and say um, that it's not just two genders yep. and that's why we're Newcastle women and gender diverse people in tech to be as inclusive as possible. Um, and we picked a shorter name than Newcastle women and gender diverse people in technology podcast. because <laughs> <laughs> um, We love our group name, yep. but it is very long. It is very long. I'm getting pretty good at saying it quickly. Um, but then I think sometimes people need me to slow down. Um, so when did the group start? Uh, I guess it's official like little baby egg version yep. of it started mid last year, uh -huh. didn't it? Yes. How how did that start? Arnon, do you want to fill us in? <laughs> well, um, we have both experienced being the odd one out in different environments. And that primarily was the whole being a woman in tech thing. Uh, so I am or was at the start of my career and I was the only woman in my company for um, a fair while of time. And I noticed that there were other women who were the only women at their companies. Uh, so yeah, someone, well, a number of people mentioned, oh, there should be somewhere like maybe like all the women should get together. Um, and so one day I just thought, it's never going to happen if I don't put it on my calendar. And <laughs> That's always the way. As soon as it's scheduled in, it's, it's going. <laughs> yeah, like that's how I get the majority of the work done. It's just like there needs to be some sort of meeting about this so that I have something to work towards. Um, so then, yeah, I said, well, I'll schedule a Thursday night, I think I did, and um, and invited everyone who I thought might be interested, went through my LinkedIn, and of course, um, I knew you, and we'll probably brush on that in a future episode and how we know each other. Dun, dun, dun. Um, the suspense. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we just brought everyone together, and what really stuck with me from that experience, it was just a pub meetup, um, but like everyone thanked me for putting it together and everyone was really keen to continue to do it um, and to meet up with people who have similar experiences to them. So I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> oh, it's a real thing now. <laughs> Dang it. But then uh, you were very keen yeah. to help yeah. bring it to life um, and you were like, look, as much as you want me to help. And I was like, can't wait doing this together. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> yeah, Yeah, because I had originally thought about doing some kind of women and gender diverse activation, but I had nowhere to start and I didn't no. schedule it into my calendar. <laughs> so as soon as you gave me this option, I was like, oh, let me in, <laughs> in a nice way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you were very polite about it. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, how do you feel about the title co-founder? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Why did we start this group? Um, what sort of thing were you looking for to create out of this group? I mean, I guess you kind of covered off one of the big ones, which is community. Yeah. Um, being in a um, man-dominated workforce is usually fine and a lot of the people <laughs> that we work with 
are lovely. Um, Absolutely lovely. Shout out yeah. to them. Um, yeah. But at the same time, you start to feel a bit weird if yeah. you're the only person that shares similar experiences to you and yeah. looks like you yeah. and likes similar things to that's you. That's right. And it goes for any diversity. Yeah. Like if you have a background that's different to the majority of your company, it's going to be harder con- to continue to speak up your um, ideas and opinions when it's the only one that's different from the rest of the company. Yeah. And it's nice to feel, and God, I hate using this word, but it's nice to feel normal. Yeah. <laughs> um, in the f- like normal being, being belonging. like other people. Yeah. yeah. Sense of belonging. Take yeah. me back to year 12 HSC English. That's it, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's gone. Um, so community is a big one. Um, mm. What other ones really stood out to you, Arden? Well, I really love that um, there's so many amazing women in this space in Newcastle um, who don't always get the opportunity to share what they're doing. Um, and so as one of our key values, we're calling that recognition. Yeah. Um, but in my eyes, it's really just an opportunity for people to share their stories and inspire others. And I learn best, like I love um, like mentoring and mentorship and I love having mentors, but I'm not always someone who can go to someone with a specific problem and ask for advice. It's like I learn best from stories and I think a lot of people do. So um, learning about um, what some amazing work some people are doing um, and also some of the challenges and experiences that they've had, um, it can really open up discussions and, um, yeah, allow deeper connections and networks within the community. And you can't be what you can't see either. So if you don't even know it's an option to be this niche thing in tech, (laughs) how would you you know? And it's a great place to practice public speaking if you want to do it at another group as well. I love the other tech groups. You know, Newcastle has such a beautiful tech community. But by and large, month after month, the speakers are men um and that's fine and that's just kind of like a representation of the proportions of men versus women versus gender diverse people in tech in newcastle yeah but it can be incredibly intimidating to especially do like your first or your second presentation to a room full of people that are very different from you and have had very different experiences so even just sometimes attending a meetup i went to one um with a friend she's a woman um and we were running a little bit late so we had dinner first um (laughs) and we opened the door to this room of like 20 men who all turned and looked at us and we were like okay yeah we definitely feel like the ones out (laughs) this is good Um, (laughs) so that's not gonna happen here no no although (laughs) it is all gender inclusive yes so come along yes exactly everyone (laughs) so that's right we run monthly meetup events um maybe excluding January and February, um, but you can check the actual meetup site for that. Um, usually on the, or so far always, on the second Thursday of the month. Yep. Uh, and these are usually speaker events. That's what we've been doing this year. And as Sarah has said, um, they are all gender inclusive. So um, with our goal being uh, to share the stories of women and gender diverse people. Um, we don't grow as a community if we don't understand the experiences of um, other people. Uh, so, yeah, that's really um, a platform. It is a safe space for women. Um, it, we also w- welcome all genders. We may put some future events on which will specify um, as women and gender diverse people only um, if we're doing a particular discussion. Um, but will always specify in the advertisement um, that something will be all gender um, as an event. Yeah, and it's about that balance between, like, creating a space to connect with people in the industry that have had more similar experiences to you whilst also not creating a sense of exclusion and Mm. wanting to bring everyone along Mm. for the ride. Like, getting gender equity and and equality in tech isn't going to happen with us alone. It's going to be everyone on board. There's definitely, like, over 90% of each of the meetups are, like, women or gender diverse people. So definitely, like, don't feel put off that there's all genders there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it it is so lovely to see um, the men that do come along as well. They're really fantastic. Yeah, I always feel like, Thanking them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I did. Oh. <laughs> um, I also skipped ahead from our 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 third pillar 
of yeah. what we do. So we're just going to really neatly just, just well, we, dive we, back into we that. We brushed on that and yeah. that's um, connection mm. um, and within that the networking. So yeah. we, we love the deep connections to each other and I think for so long – um, a lot of industries and historically men have had spaces where they can connect yep. as men exclusively, um, which in a way creates their own foundation and networks, which helps them in their career. Um, so this is also a space for us to do that. Um, and I think networking in general is very helpful and we're coming into a time when women are building each other up and are wanting to help each other because there's no longer just one spot for women on the board. You know, there's we're really looking to um, have equality. Um, yeah. So it's about helping, helping each know, other. Yeah, like a lot of the time, yeah. which sucks when they're like, oh, yes, we met at a golf day. Yeah. I know golf is strictly well a man sport, but if you look at the percentage of players, <laughs> I'm going to learn it just out of spite. <laughs> Maybe we should have a golf, like, um, meet up. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, mini golf, maybe. <laughs> yeah. We have, um, we have had some activities suggested, so um, I guess watch this space. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's like – you are likely more likely to help people that you know and you have some commonality with. So let's let's create that for um, women and gender diverse people in the space, which might not have those same opportunities yeah. as well. And we have overwhelmingly positive feedback um, for our events. So yeah, um, and that it's like a welcome space, and people are really nice and chatting, and people who don't usually feel comfortable networking um, feel comfortable networking there. So that's um, amazing. So our second project, which we're embarking on this year. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> it's happening right now in your ears. <laughs> what are we planning to do for this, Sarah? It's a it's a podcast. Um, Whoa! <laughs> and we we speak into microphones uh, yeah. with with reasonable gusto, and um, hopefully people listening. Hopefully people listening. <laughs> Shout out to mum. Um, <laughs> uh, it's and, okay. I'll like do little short clips and put them on LinkedIn so that we get like at least some views. You can also watch them as well in video format. Yeah, that's uh, right. Please watch all of my hard work. Yeah. So I am learning how to edit podcasts Which this is year. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Hooray. Thank Look you. Go. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things I love about this um, like whole experience in founding this organization is like all of the skills and like extra like networks and everything that we're picking up along the way. Yeah. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and people can come and be on the podcast as well. Yes. As being speakers, of course. At yes. Actual... So that's it. Volunteer to yeah. be a speaker at the meetup events. Um, and also um, let us know if you want to be on the podcast because we'd love to share your story. Also potentially nominate people because um, women in particular have a hard time putting themselves forward. Um, yeah, for things. So. Especially if it's something that is a little bit intimidating. We're actually super nice. This podcast <laughs> is usually pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, don't feel intimidated. We're fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're lovely, Sarah, and welcoming. Um, unless you like the beach because, yeah, as we, you'll note, <laughs> we mentioned that we don't love the beach a few times throughout this podcast. Yeah, in a lot of future episodes, there's a lot of um, not favourable beach chats. So I apologise for the beach. I do like... Swimming in the ocean. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, I don't mind the ocean baths. I don't appreciate being salty. I don't think that's a very good... So you just got to jump in the shower straight after. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Better things to do with our spare time. <laughs> um, another way people can get involved is, is sponsorship. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're working for a company who um, you believe has good diversity and inclusion, is interested in um, sponsoring a women and gender diverse people in tech space, then let us know. Um, we've got lots of sponsorship options and as we're willing to discuss anything. Just to mention our current sponsors now, we have Nui Tech People. I'd say they're our major sponsor because, I mean, we're in their podcast studio now. Right now. It's happening. <laughs> yeah. Um, we use their auditorium for our events um, and they pay for our free pizza. Um, so I'd say that's pretty major. Yeah. Thank um, you, Nui Tech people. Yeah. We've also got MJ Thamel, who um, I work for. So Sarah works for Nui Tech people. Um, and I work for MJ Thamel. And there's a fair amount of time that goes into these things. 100%. So I'm very thankful for MJ Thamel in supporting me through that. Yeah, really just 
being a company that lives diversity and inclusion and um, this is one of the ways that they show it by supporting me in running this group. Yeah, it was willing to invest the valuable resource that is your time, which is massive. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, and this year the Port of Newcastle has come on board. And so as we mentioned, um, diversity and inclusion, we go over the diversity and inclusion policies of our um, sponsors. Um, and so we were very pleased to have the Port of Newcastle on and um, it being such a major player in Newcastle is very exciting. Yeah. Also being instrumental towards the clean energy future shift that's happening within Newcastle and just in general being a company that's looking towards the future. So that really excites me. But Thank you, Port of Newcastle. Exactly. Um, <laughs> So if you would like to sponsor us, let us know. Get in touch. Get in touch with us on LinkedIn or we don't have email, so do that. Uh, <laughs> we do have email, um, um, yeah, but we right. don't have an email specific to um, this group. So yes. I'm sure there'll be an email in the description um, somewhere yep. um, or a particular way to get in touch with us. And so just investigate that. Messenger um, Pigeon would also be fine if you have one. We love on Messenger Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favourite type of communication uh, after smoke signals. Of yeah, course. of course. It's pretty embarrassing yeah. just grabbing random pigeons, seeing if they have a note tied to them. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I random fact: my brother is very good at catching birds. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> One time on holiday, he just like there was this bird nearby, and he just like reached in and grabbed it. The bird was very shocked, as was our whole family. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, he's a bit of a bird person, anyway. Uh, I've nice. got someone who can get a pigeon message pigeon for us. Um, uh, how can you join the community? I'm already part of it. Well, this is <laughs> <laughs> this is a question you might have. Oh yes, come to a meetup. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we post the meetups um on the group, very originally named Meetup. Yeah, it's a meetup.com. Check yes. it out. Yes, um, and so it will always be on there because that's where we run our RSVPs through. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been very good at posting on LinkedIn um, for our events, upcoming events. Uh, and we also have a Slack. Yes, a little yes. fun Slack that you have to ask us to be invited to because I don't think the door is readily available. But yeah. You know, send us a messenger pigeon. It's a little bit awkward with Slack links, um, but... As Sarah said, ask us, um, and that puts you in touch with the community as well. So then you can see um, other people who are um, part of this community. What's next for this group? We'll continue to do the podcast. We'll release a podcast episode because this will, will have coming. happened by yep. the time you're listening to this. Done. Yep. Check. But we've recorded this after we've recorded a few other episodes. Yeah, um, which is why we know we hate the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think that's worked out well. Mm, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we did try to record this one first and we sounded a little like beep. It was pop, chaotic. Podcast. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but in an endearing way. Yes, so I don't yeah. know, maybe it'll be bonus content sometime in the future <laughs> if we, um, maybe I could take snippets of it actually. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll try. <laughs> There'd probably be some content which we don't cover um, because it does go back and forth a bit chaotic. But um, yeah, it was... It was awesome. Um, so while well, thanks for this group, we're going to continue to do the podcast, <laughs> the meetup. Let us know if you want to be a speaker on the podcast. Um, as we mentioned, there might be some discussion um, events yep. um, where it'll be um, a bit more involved. And, that, of course, you'll know everything beforehand. We're a big, big believer in letting you know the schedule and what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah we night. won't just be like, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, <laughs> 25 on words or less. <laughs> <laughs> In front of yeah. a whole group of people. Everyone loves that. <laughs> and what else is happening this We're week? just going to continue to grow, continue to support people, you know. Yeah. I feel like we've already made such beautiful connections um, and I'm really looking forward to being able to continue continue to meet everyone in the space um, mm. and see them do really cool and amazing things. Yeah, we're looking forward to meeting you. If we haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we might wrap this up and um, next episode you'll um, get to know a bit more about Sarah Fraser. Oh, goody. So looking forward to it. Maybe I'll get to know more about myself. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> this um, 
isn't a therapy session. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um, yeah. Well, thanks for listening and we'll, um, you'll listen to us soon. Be in your ears next time. <laughs> so good <laughs>